Looks like Debbie's got a question coming in from the internet. This is going back to the uh, Canon camera. Cool. Are there multiple HDMI outputs? The Canon camera has one HDMI mini output. If you want to get to multiple monitors, a uh, uh, sort of budget option is to make sure you've got a HDMI looping monitor. So most of the iCANs that I've seen, don't, they've got an HDMI in, but it dies there, no HDMI out. But a lot of the Marshall HDMI monitors, HDMI in, HDMI out. Now, ICANN, I'm sure, is going to come out with some looping stuff. I don't, you know, we're, we're, we're happy to entertain monitors from any manufacturer, but in my experience, Marshall, you can count on for an HDMI loop out. If you need a sort of higher end version, you want to have an HDMI DA, distribution amplifier, one in, multiple out, or an HDMI to HD SDI converter. This will allow you, as we have, to use your DSLR in a multi-camera setup where you can come into an HDSDI switcher and uh, use it as part of your multi-camera production. Follow-up so question. That was uh, Douglas Villalba asking you that question. Welcome, Douglas. Thank you for watching the show. And Carlos from Nicaragua was just making sure that he wanted to know if the um, cage is to be for mounting on a tripod or a jib. Carlos. Thank you for watching from Nicaragua. We really appreciate it. Uh, the cage is absolutely most useful when used on a jib or on a tripod. A little bit clumsy to hold, a little bit heavy, but so useful. Uh, has all the room you need to plug in your cables, eject your cards and your batteries without dismounting the camera, and offers lots of quarter 20 inch holes for mounting your monitors, your receivers, this and that. And then one last question. Reed wants to know if Midtown Video sells portable LCD monitors for DSLRs. Reed, thank you for watching the show once again. Thank you for asking that question. Yes, we do. And uh, we sell some Marshall monitors. We sell some ICANN monitors. We've got plenty of options that have HDMI inputs. Sony and Panasonic also have some killer options out there. Uh, Reed or anybody else, send us an email, give us a phone call, or just come on in and stop by, and we'll be happy to show that stuff to you. And one, uh, one comment from Running Roots, that Lauren Sofair from Running Roots just worked on a feature film shot entirely on three 5Ds, M2s. Super cool. It's massive game changer in LA and totally awesome. Fantastic. Uh, congratulations to Lauren Sofair. Welcome again to Andrew. Thank you guys for watching and for being longtime friends of the show. Um, absolutely, absolutely vital, useful tools, these DSLR cameras. They give you that shallow depth of field that you used to only be able to accomplish with film cameras, film lenses. Um, one thing I like to mention before we go on to the next portion of our show with our guest is that the DSLR cameras are necessary but not sufficient to becoming a complete, full videographer or filmmaker. Um, necessary in that it's a nice economical tool to achieve certain shots uh, only capable by very expensive cameras or these DSLRs. Not sufficient because of a couple of limitations including the 12 minute clip limit, tw 12 minutes at a time, kind of uh, is, is limiting if you're doing sports, if you're doing long interviews, if you're doing television shows, these kinds of things. And additionally, the sort of hoops that you've got to get through in order to send out your monitoring signals to your directors, to your um, you know, to your switchers. If you want to get multi-camera multi production done, it adds a couple of obstacles that are easily overcome by some more traditional camcorders. Um, unless we have any more pressing questions from the internet. Jacobo would like to know if the 5D is better or the 7D. Uh, the, the from answer, Nicaragua. Thank you for uh, writing in, Jacobo, from Nicaragua. We're, we're popular in, in uh, the universe, so oh, Nicaragua is included. Tell them I say hi. Uh, Fernando says hello. We appreciate you watching. 5D or 7D? If I'm going to shoot camera, if I'm going to shoot still photography, I want the 5D. If I'm going to shoot videography, I want the 7D. Why is that? The chip size in a 5D so big, tough to keep focus. Chip size on a 7D also immensely large. Uh, still, I'm going to go with about 80% of the size of a 5D. So that gigantic chip size means an even shallower depth of field. Even, even shallower you know, focus plane. So it's even tougher for these videographers to keep focus. So the guy who's got a uh, Marshall monitor on the top of his uh, heavy, heavy cage and is trying to keep focus is going to have an easier time of it on a 7D. If that doesn't phase you, if you're uh, sort of an expert marksman, go ahead and pick up a, a 5D and use it for video. 